Hey everybody, this is Franco and I want to make a video right now showing you how to do a 3D chamfer in Fusion 360. So let me show you what I'm talking about. What I have here is you can see there's a cross hole and it's in a round part and I want to chamfer that edge. And this is a pretty common machining operation and uh, I think a lot of other uh, CAM packages call this a 3D chamfer. I suppose you could uh, interpret that a lot of different ways. Some people would use like a ball mill to surface this, but what I want to do is use a 90 degree chamfer tool to break that edge. And this is the tool path that I came up with. <clears throat> so let me uh, show you what this looks like. I'm going to turn off the CAM component and well, you can see that's the tool path. And let's simulate that. So here we go. Right, so isn't that cool? So the 45 or 90 degree uh, chamfer tool, see what it's doing. Drops in there. And you can see it's following that contour. So it's actually making a 3D move to do that. All right, so let me show you how that's done. This actually took me a little while to figure out how to do. It's really simple, but um, I just, I didn't know where to look. <clears throat> so here's how you do it. This toolpath type is actually under the 2D group. And it's, the toolpath type is called trace. So you want to pick a trace toolpath. And then you want to go out and choose for yourself some kind of uh, chamfer tool. So for me, it's going to be this quarter inch, uh, 90 degree chamfer tool. And I don't really care about speeds and feeds right at the moment. <clears throat> Ge geometry. I'm going to pick this edge. And then for heights, um, nothing here. Too serious. You got a feed height, a retract height, clearance height. Uh, I'm going to make my feed height 0.1, just so it's uh, you know something different. So you can see this is all pretty standard Fusion 360 stuff. Nothing too crazy there. Then under passes, I am going to choose uh, left to climb milling. Let's see here. 90 degrees, axial offset is zero, up down milling, I don't care. Okay, chamfer. So here's this cool checkbox here where it, it actually has chamfer width, chamfer tip offset. So you want to make sure that box is checked. And first one is width. So that's actually going to control the size of the chamfer. The other one is chamfer tip offset. So that's how far down you're going to push the tool. Um, so, let's make ourselves a 20 thou chamfer. Let's make ourselves a chamfer tip offset of 0.0, I don't know, let's try 0.04. And let's go ahead and create this. And there we go, we have a toolpath. Now, I can tell right away something Something seems a little bit odd with that toolpath. And let's just go ahead and simulate that. So look at that. What happened? It put 
the tip of the tool up here, it's not touching the part, just everything seems wrong. Well, I'll show you what happened. If you go back into the operation, under passes, remember how this thing here, axial offset, used to say zero? Well, for some reason, it um, changes as you enter these values. And I'm not sure why. They have an expression in here. I'm not sure why that's there. There's probably a reason. People that made the software are really smart. But for me, I put zero in there. And then I get a toolpath down there, which looks more like what I want. So let's go simulate that. That looks a little more like it. And then the only thing I want to add is a lead in and lead out. So let's jump back into the operation and lead in, lead out. And I'll try using 25 thou. Let's see what happens there. Well, we got to, we have something. I don't know. It should work. So let's go and simulate that. There it is. There is our 3D chamfer. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And as far as posting it, let's post that out. Right click, post process. I'll use this post for Centroid Acorn. Post. There we go. We have some code. And of course, you can use all the normal um, functions in Fusion 360 to uh, smooth this out, uh, make it have shorter segments, longer segments, uh, whatever you need to do to control, you know, the output of your code. But this code runs. I actually just used this to make some parts on my my little uh, DIY CNC conversion. <clears throat> Worked fine, and it's pretty cool. So there you go. That is how you do a 3D chamfer in Fusion 360. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day, and be safe.